You know, sometimes when having a conversation on leadership, the notion comes up that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Well, here's a slightly different way you may want to consider looking at the challenge of leadership. Instead of focusing on what you can make the horse do, instead of making the horse drink, maybe you would gain more results from making the horse thirsty. You know, part of leadership is getting others to execute your will, your plan. But a larger part of leadership might be helping others understand how executing their part of the plan fulfills a part of their own personal plan. You might gain more from making the horse thirsty. Helping that person understand how executing their part of the plan helps them personally. Make the horse thirsty. Find out what beyond your plan motivates your teamwork. Make the horse thirsty. Why is the person even on your team? What motivates them to be the, even on your team and in play? Here's the reality of it. You make the horse thirsty enough, you won't have to lead it to water. It will drag you. It is far more capable of finding water than you probably are. Leadership. Leadership is largely upon what you want and what others want. You have to find that common ground. You have to find that agreement and purpose. That's when things get powerful. Make the horse thirsty, then get out of the way. Instead of trying to light a fire under their butt, fuel that fire that flickers inside of them. Something to think about as you expect to have a great day.